Hi everyone, this is Lonnie. Welcome to part three of the series called Hidden Truth. Uh, before we get started, I just want to uh, let you all know that if there's a, this background noise that's happening on these videos, let me explain why that is. Um, first of all, I have an air conditioner running in the background and I have a fan pointed at my computer. And the reason being is because I bought this desktop uh, Dell computer on eBay and I spent two hundred dollars on it and it's a nice computer but when it gets really warm the video card is integrated with the motherboard and it gets hot and when it gets hot video does not like that at all so I'm having a hard time making videos but I have the uh, panel off on my desktop and I have a fan pointing at it so that's what you're hearing in the background alright and I apologize for that but for right now it's essential anyway in the past two studies we uh, we went over the use of right division we talked about how the Bible is laid out we talked about the the, the dispensing or dispensation of God's Word we talked about the several keys to understanding God's Word remembering to ask yourself the key questions of who why when and how and so on and so on we talked about how Paul was a Jew through and through and why this fact is so important in understanding how God recruited Paul to start the age of grace also called the dispensation of grace we learned a lot about Paul's ancestry and his bloodline stemming from the tribe of Benjamin his overwhelming desire to be that perfect little Jew by mastering the flesh and performing good works Saul thought he was untouchable in the Jewish hierarchy. We talked about how Saul was changed on his way to Damascus by a risen Lord Jesus. There's a lot of things we talked about and my hope is that what I shared with you gave you some insight on how important rightly dividing God's word truly is. But keep in mind this is just a basic introduction to rightly dividing God's word. The second hope is that you understood how God dispenses his commands or programs throughout time for for many different reasons to different people having different results God using different plans if you will to deal with different situations if you at least understood those two things along with the keys of asking the who why when where how to etc to rightly divide you're doing well and we've been building a good foundation for what's coming up in the rest of this series now in closing on my last video uh, hidden truth part two I left you with some scripture and I asked that you'd really focus on those two verses rightly dividing the words keeping keeping them in context focusing on the dispensing of scripture for the church today now if you don't remember those two verses you're gonna have to go back to part two and listen to it okay and overall thinking about the words of those verses and how important those words are in explaining our position in the body of Christ for today this age in this dispensation the dispensing of a program given for us today for us to comprehend the times that we're in and how God's program applies in this day and age and how it differs from other parts of the Bible or God's dispensing throughout time different programs for different people so those are some of the things we've discussed thus far and later on we're gonna learn that there are seven dispensations from Genesis to the Millennial Kingdom and we're gonna learn the specifics of each one of those dispensations and how they intertwine and how by understanding each dispensation you'll become an expert at rightly dividing God's Word but like anything else we have to start at the bottom we have to lay down a solid foundation and we have to work our way up slowly until eventually you'll have a system that ensures you that you keep the scripture in context and you'll have a safety system that will protect you from falling into false doctrine and will alert you when you're confronted with false teaching so we're also gonna talk about more keys to unlocking your Bible and understanding which parts apply to you today 
more right division and more tools you can use to make that right division easier and the ability to apply that right division at all times okay now moving along this is why it's important to know God's Word knowing how the Bible is organized knowing what parts pertain to who knowing the when the how the why and so on it's the key to understanding God's Word which will then give you understanding for how your part in the body of Christ plays out it's been said that the entire Bible is for our edification but the entire Bible is not written to us entirely the Bible is broken down into different time periods okay different stages of time the word used to explain these different time periods is dispensation the word dispensation simply means to dispense God God dispensing certain commands or programs during specific time periods to a specific group of people for a certain and specific reason these are called dispensations of time or Bible dispensations one thing I'd like to add at this point is the fact that all false religions and denominations have one thing in common they ignore the divisions of time they ignore the different time periods of how God dealt with people uniquely and by ignoring these time periods or dispensing of instructions they compile the entire Bible into one big book of confusion making certain parts of the Bible seem written to us today when they most certainly are not the confusion comes in when teachers place the body of Christ into a dispensation of time that was specifically meant for another group of people for example Israel the 12 tribes the Jews God dispensed laws and commands to these people during a time that the law was the only source of obedience and the remission of sin was done through the sacrifice of lambs and goats to atone for their many sins their dispensation was quite different than a dispensation we live in today in today's dispensation or program God is dealing with people through grace alone the gospel of Paul is very important for us today in fact I'll go so far to say that the gospel of Paul is the only gospel written to and for the body of Christ today's dispensation now remember what I said earlier the entire Bible is for us and is most certainly for our edification and understanding but only certain parts of the Bible are to us today in this dispensation which we call the dispensation or the the dispensing of grace salvation through faith alone by God's grace alone what I'm not saying or recommending in any way is to remove everything but Paul's gospel from the Bible that's not what I'm saying at all folks how are we supposed to know our part in the process if we're unable to tell which part of God's Word is to us for today how are we supposed to know which prophecies are for the church today and which ones are for the future of Israel if we can't tell the difference between a dispensation of grace and a dispensation of the kingdom of heaven how are we to know just who will go through the week of Daniel the 70th week if we don't know who God is speaking about in Scripture the only way to know the only way to understand the only way to completely feel secure in your salvation is by knowing which of the books in God's Word is written to you today and which of those books are written about our future the process of understanding dispensation has been kept hidden from the world for thousands of years and this hiding of dispensations is critical for the creation of religions controlling the masses by keeping them confused freedom comes by having the ability to discern which part of God's Word is to us today also which part of God's Word is not to us today and which part of God, uh, part of God's Word is for someone else in the future you see if you can keep this knowledge hidden then you can tell the people that they'll take part in something that's only meant for someone else all right example the Jews the 12 tribes the elect again keeping confusion in the process is easily accomplished by keeping dispensations a secret but don't worry by the end of the series the end of these eight videos of hidden truth you'll have a good foundation of how the Bible is written 
which parts of the Bible are for us today and what scripture you need to be paying attention to right now. Considering all the events happening in the world, you really need a clear understanding of how our future in the body of Christ plays out. Okay, now in keeping with the understanding that the entire Bible is for us and certain parts are to us today from our uh, earlier discussion, and let me remind everyone of something I said at the very beginning of this study. I believe it was probably, let's see, probably the first video. However, remember I said I was going to make these videos for those who were just starting out, new members in the body of Christ, just beginning to crack open the Bible, okay? And I was going to teach this as if uh, you knew absolutely nothing about the Bible, or write division and so forth so for those of you who are perhaps adults in Christ perhaps you're already familiar with everything I'm teaching here then let this be a refresher for you okay and just know that we're about to kick things in a higher gear in the coming videos with teaching and information that perhaps you've not seen yet so just wanted to state that here in case the more advanced are falling asleep at their computers I apologize just hang on because it gets better um, I just have to uh, get the basic foundation laid out so our newer folks have a solid ground to build upon which I'm sure you're going to agree that a solid foundation is extremely important. Now let me give you an example of why a solid foundation in, in understanding correct division is so important by sharing with you a metaphor that perhaps you're familiar with. We've all heard the saying Give a man a fish and he eats for a day. Teach a man a fish and he eats for a lifetime. We can look at this hidden truth in much the same way. A religion is the man who gives you a fish, so you have to come back the next day for more. And they give you another fish and ask for something in return. And again, another day they give you another fish. Religion keeps you satisfied for the moment, but never really answers the questions you have never giving you the true story, never teaching you to fish, so you have to come back to get that fish from the same religion over and over again while they control you and they control the amount of information that you receive. Now, teaching a man to fish is like teaching someone how to rightly divide God's word, teaching people how to discern between what's what in the Bible, teaching you the who, what, when, where, how, they, and all that, Correctly dividing God's word will teach you will give you the ability to to figure out which part of the Bible is for you today And also it will teach you what you need to know about God's plans for the future You see rightly dividing gets rid of the middleman so to speak That man who controls how much information you're given and for what purpose I'm not saying to ignore teachers I'm saying to find a teacher that will teach you how to fish for a lifetime how to be in control what you learn and how to learn it learning the truth of God's Word rightly divided is the key in understanding why it's so important to rightly divide we need to study and read the whole Bible and learn from it all the many principles that can be applied to our lives today and it's also essential to know both uh, the earthly program and the heavenly program to be able to see the difference between the two the sad truth is I'm about to tell you something that you probably don't even know it's not your fault the fault lies on those people who don't teach the truth of God's Word rightly divided the two programs that God created in Genesis 1 1 it says God created the heaven and the earth the part that's being hidden from people today is that the heaven program was kept a secret all throughout scripture until the Jews rejected Jesus as their Messiah God kept this a secret until the Apostle Paul came along Jesus Christ revealed the mystery secret this gospel of grace the mystery that one day there would be a body created the body of Christ Jesus and this body would be fellow heirs with Christ let's look at the book of Ephesians chapter 3 and let's see why this is a mystery why it was given to Paul alone and how it played out I'm gonna open up uh, Ephesians 3 so everybody can see it we can read along here okay there it should be on the screen now 
All right, so Ephesians 3, verse 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of grace of God, I'm sorry, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. Okay, here we see the word dispensation. Dispensation of grace. This time when God dispensed this program. The dispensation of grace is saying the same thing as the age of grace. The time when God started this period known as the gospel of grace. And he does that through the apostle Paul. By revealing to Paul a mystery that was kept secret. The mystery revealed to Paul that God kept something to himself from the very foundation of creation. The secret mystery was that the body of Christ would be created and this body would become fellow heirs with the Son Christ Jesus. Now because this was kept a secret by God all the events that happened within within and to the church the body of Christ also had to be kept a secret. For example their rapture or the harpazo the catching away of Jesus's body unto himself just before the seven-year week of Daniel a simple definition of the mystery is that the body of Christ would be created okay moving on to verse 3 Ephesians 3 verse 3 how that by revelation he may known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ which in other ages okay stop what other ages the ages before the age of grace the time before Paul's gospel the gospel of grace was formed was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power unto me who I am less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I should preach along among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ okay stop again let's read that again verse 9 and to men all and to make all men see what is the fellowship of mystery from uh, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God who created all things in Jesus Christ God kept this a secret since the creation of the world folks it was a secret all throughout the Old Testament all throughout the four Gospels okay and it was only revealed when Paul was walking to, on his way to Damascus Jesus Christ appeared in person and revealed this mystery to Paul alone now what is the mystery again it is the mystery of the heavenly program the Jews have the earthly program and the body of Christ which was the secret mystery revealed to Paul would have the heavenly program now moving on verse 10 to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church and manifold wisdom of God even the principalities and powers in heavenly places had no knowledge no knowledge whatsoever of this secret that was given to Paul by Jesus Christ verse 11 according to the a eternal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord we can see clearly that the rapture of the church was kept a secret and this secret was revealed to Paul first and Paul alone the person who revealed the secret to Paul was Jesus Christ himself Paul didn't hear about this mystery gospel from an angel Paul didn't stumble upon a cave on his way to Damascus and then find some scrolls inside that you know revealed something about the dispensation of grace the formation of the body of Christ that's not what happened here friends 
Our Lord Jesus came to Paul personally to reveal this secret that he kept from the, from the start of creation. Not one person, not one angel, not one fallen angel knew that this secret existed. Only God knew about it. And if there's one person who can truly keep a secret, it's God. The only thing taught all throughout scripture was about the earthly program, the Jewish program, that they would inherit the earthly kingdom, their kingdom of heaven on earth that Jesus brought, but they rejected. After they rejected Jesus as their uh, Messiah, Jesus Christ revealed the secret that he kept since the foundation of creation, and he revealed it to Paul alone. This secret, folks, is what we know as the dispensation of grace or the age of grace the gospel of grace the creation of the body of christ jesus through the apostle paul so here i've just revealed to you one of the hidden secrets that mainstream religion is keeping from their people keeping their people in the wrong dispensation they're keeping people under peter's gospel the gospel of the kingdom which is the gospel of the law the program for the body of Christ Jesus, the church today, comes exclusively from the books that Paul wrote, Romans through Philemon. Romans through Philemon is the only section of the Bible where we all, Jew and Gentile alike, are being talked to today by God's Word. Paul's books are exclusively to, for, and about us in this day and age, the dispensation of grace. This concept of where to find Today's scripture is extremely important. It's the backbone of rightly dividing God's word and one you should learn quite well. If you don't get this basic principle firmly into your thinking, you'll be confused from this point on until that concept finally sinks into your mind. I cannot stress this enough now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first verse in the Bible again, Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Notice it's not heavens with an S, okay? Um, some of the newer versions, the corrupted versions, say heavens and the earth. And that's another reason why you should stick with the King James Bible alone, okay? Get away from the other versions. Please, start there. That's very important. So, the first verse, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The first verse in the Bible holds the key that you must seize hold of to unlock the secret of the rest of the Bible. The heavenly and the earthly programs. And without this important key, you'll be locked out of the many riches in God's word that you could be understanding and profiting from. But simply by using the first major key given to you right off the bat, right from the start, Genesis 1-1, in God's word, which is understanding that there are two programs, a heavenly program and an earthly program. Now, these things... I'm giving you our tools okay which unlock many other secrets but don't forget these keys because you'll have considerable trouble and confusion later on much of what I've mentioned thus far may seem new to you especially if you've had some background in the Bible but contrary to popular belief it's not new at all in fact these concepts are found in the preface to the Coverdale Bible the first English translation back in 1535, about 500 years ago. Let me read it. Quote, It shall greatly help thee to understand Scripture, if thou mark not only what is spoken or written, but of whom and to whom, with what words, at what time, where, to what intent, with what circumstances, considering what goeth before and what followeth after. Miles Coverdale. Unquote. The problem is, when the church gets away from these basic concepts, confusion abounds in Christendom like never before. All right? And it creates a situation where you end up with thousands of different denominations. Thousands of denominations taking their little belief system and making a whole new religion out of it. All right? In case, in case you don't know what the world religion means, what well, the word religion means, its definition is to bind back or to be bound by and we can see how religion is used to bind people back to the law the last I heard there were about oh I don't know 1800 to 2000 different denominations along with about 3000 cults 
and it's all growing quickly folks the reason for all the confusion is failure as the Apostle Paul tells us in 2 Timothy 2.15 to rightly divide the word of truth. What Paul is actually talking about here is the key to understanding the two different programs which God created. The earthly program and the heavenly program. This one concept alone is going to solve most of the mysteries, the problems, the delusions, the confusions of studying God's word. If you can really get it under your belt and keep it in the forefront of your mind as you study and learn all right if you can do that you'll be okay now friends I'm well aware that it sounds like I'm stating the same thing over and over and over at this point but I can't tell you how important this one little key truly is you if you lose it if you fail to use it and you're just gonna end up with a total misconception about certain passages and especially certain prophecies all confusion can be avoided by just keeping these keys, these tools, the facts that the fact that God created two programs, one earthly and one heavenly, keeping this in the back of your mind with studying God's word and you're going to prosper in knowledge and wisdom. That's what rightly dividing is all about. Now on a different note, before I go any further, you need to understand that once we're born physically, we will never die and we will live forever. Let me explain. The reason is because we're created in God's image. In Genesis 1.27, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And like God, who will never die, we are triune beings having three parts. We are body, soul, and spirit. Our spirit will actually live forever. And the Bible teaches that we'll be given a new body after this flesh uh, body passes away in physical death and you know I know that there are many different versions of this out there but there's only one true version okay and that's found in God's Word and that proof will be evident sooner or later possibly after death or perhaps your body will be changed from this flesh into a glorified body at the rapture but one thing is certain we'll all find out eventually for some it will be absolute bliss and for others it will be absolutely horrific I know I went over a lot of stuff in this video but much of it is repeated over and over again I understand but that's for a very good reason I care about you and I care about your ability to rightly divide because through right division comes understanding and from understanding comes pure joy and security in your salvation in Christ Jesus to recap what we've gone over keep in mind and remember dispensation is a is uh, God dispensing his program his authority his commands for a certain time period and for a certain group of people also keep in mind and remember that God created two different programs right from the beginning in Genesis 1 1 the earthly program and the heavenly program we're, we're gonna be going over these more in detail okay later on and like I said as well there are seven different dispensations and we'll be learning about each of those as well also remember that Paul is our apostle in this dispensation chosen by Jesus himself and it was a secret okay remember that everything that Paul knew was taught to him by Jesus Christ himself one-on-one -on -one. and only Paul knew about this mystery program kept secret all right he sent Paul to teach us the dispensation of grace which was kept hidden from the foundation of the world it was kept a secret until Paul's conversion the mysteries of the rapture and the salvation by faith alone were part of these secrets revealed only to Paul so our books for today in this age of grace are again from Romans through Philemon remember the entire Bible is for us but only part of the Bible is to us today in this dispensation of grace keep that in mind as we move along in our study in the later series in closing, if you don't know Christ Jesus as your Savior today, then please, I beg you, consider the results of not knowing Christ Jesus as Savior. It won't be pleasant, my dear friend. If you want to be sure that no matter what happens, you'll be in heaven when the time comes for your appointment with our Lord God, you can be sure today. If you sincerely realize that you're on the wrong path, covered in your sins, and you sincerely want to change that path because you realize that you're dead in sin without Christ Jesus 
then with sincere conviction admit you're lost and tell God that you want him to change you into the person that he wants you to be and that you sincerely believe and trust in in Christ Jesus his good news the gospel that he is God in the flesh that he did die he did take your sins with him into death and he did on the third day rise from the grave alive and in absolute righteousness and now covers you with that righteousness making you forgiven of all sin and making you righteous in the sight of God covered by the righteousness the righteousness of Christ Jesus his only begotten son believe and trust Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 15 1 through 5 now I make known to you brethren the gospel which I preached to you which also you received in which also you stand by by which also you are saved if you hold fast the word which I preached to you unless you believed in vain for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received that Christ Jesus died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to those scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas then the twelve if you believe this gospel and confess Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior please tell me send me a message and let me know that you made this very important decision on this day grace peace and love in Christ Jesus be unto you and your families see you all in part four of our study together called Hidden Truth. See you later, guys.